Hey there Trailblazer users. This walkthrough is going to focus on how you can allow GoToAssist or GoToResolve to enable a Trailblazer support tech to connect to your Mac. Now on a Windows system, the application is going to just have a handful of hoops for you to jump through where you're just going to make a couple of approvals. But on more modern Mac operating systems, you're actually going to have to go into your preferences into the security and privacy settings and enable a couple of features for it to be able to connect. We're going to go ahead and open up a browser. Any one of them will do. In this case, I'm using Chrome, but you can certainly use Safari or Firefox or anything else you've got installed. And your tech will instruct you to go to fastsupport.com. Go ahead and enter that in. We're going to see a very familiar screen that we just saw in the RDP. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my first name. And then this tech is going to give you a nine digit support key. Now you won't need to memorize this. It is going to be unique every time you connect. So just go ahead, type it in and don't worry about preserving it. And what's going to happen if this is the very first time you've installed this is you're going to get this pop up down here in the bottom, this little yellow bar that says click file to open it. Now you're not clicking on the yellow box. So this kind of a little bit of a misleading thing. But in most of the browsers, what's going to happen is that download's going to appear in the lower left. If the download doesn't appear here, so your browser doesn't have the same layout, just go into the settings for your browser, almost always found in a, a menu icon in the top right. And you should almost always also be able to find a link here to your downloads where you can go open it. In this case, in Chrome, it does appear in the lower left. So I'll just go ahead and tap on the listing that it's given me. And then I'll get the go to opener box. So I'll double click on this to install. At this point, I can go ahead and close the browser. I'm going to choose open because I do want to open it, even though I've downloaded it from the Internet, because I know I need to run it. But we'll go ahead ultimately and get to this point where it says quit or join session at this particular point, the tech is going to be able to see that you are about ready to connect. They get a message on their screen that says requesting permission to join. So you're going to go ahead and select the option for join session. And then what's going to happen on their screen is they can now see your wallpaper. They can see this go to assist box and they can see nothing else. So the screen recording button here, the dock, that is all invisible to them. Even the folder, the time, and these apps that are open, they are all in the void for them. Now they can see the mouse moving around, but what we need to do is give this app some permissions to be able to allow them to see your screen. So we cannot tap deny here. If we do that, it will render them incapable of viewing and helping. So we're going to select the option for open system preferences. Now that particular pop-up referenced screen recording, but we're also going to need to do accessibility. So it is possible. I should point out that that first pop-up that comes up could reference its accessibility and not necessarily the screen recording. In this case, the first thing we need to do once we get into security and privacy and the privacy tab is we need to unlock this to make changes. So it is going to require that you add your Mac password here. So I'll go ahead and type that in. And actually, I believe that I kind of messed that up a little there to begin with. So hopefully I'm getting it right now. But once we've unlocked this, then in this case, we are currently looking at screen recording and GoToAssist has already been added to that. So I'm going to check the box to approve it. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click later. You do not want to click quit and reopen because that will require you to reestablish the connection. If GoToAssist does not appear here, and we should actually see that when we work our way up to accessibility, which actually we're fortunate that it did appear here. But if it did not, what you're going to do is tap on the plus sign in the lower left. And then you're going to browse through your applications to find go to assist customer. You would highlight it, hit open, and that will add it to the list. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because it is already present there. So again, I need to have accessibility access for go to assist customer. 
and then I need to have screen recording access for GoToAssist customer. At this point, I can re-click to lock this so that it can't be altered again without having me log in, and I'll go ahead and hit the X and minimize this. At this point, the Trailblazer tech can not only see your screen, but they can operate within it. 